Welcome everybody, Bonnie Donahue here, and we are back for another episode of Storytime with Essential Oils for Moms, and I'm just really excited about today because I have a new advocate here with me that I will introduce, and she will have to share her story. Um, so what I've been doing is featuring our amazing team and highlighting beautiful women from all over the world who are loving essential oils and having them share their stories um, of the oils and of the business, and we are just having an awesome time. So I am really excited to meet my, um, actually it's my husband's <laughs> uncle's wife, Abby Miller. And so she just joined doTERRA, and she has a really interesting story about that. And she's been using oils for a long time, for a while. Right? Yeah, probably about three, four years at least. Okay, and then... We, I didn't know that she was using oils, and we actually connected again at a family wedding, and we started talking about oils, because that always comes up, and we just started talking, and then she came to one of my um, online classes that I was doing, and then I'll let her tell her story about why she decided to change to doTERRA, and so she has a great story, and um, I just wanted her to get on and share, and we just actually just got done to doing her scan so we just got her set up with the itobi if you don't know what the itobi scan is you need to look it up i'll put my link in the comments but it is a bioimpedance scan that you hold and it will tell you all the oils that your body needs and would you say it's spot on it is spot on <laughs> Totally awesome and scary at the same time. It is spot on. After you're done with this, you can, it will tell you what oils you need emotionally, physically, and environmentally. And um, and then after you get the scan, it will give you a report. And also you can look up in the emotions book. I, um, I should grab that so you guys can see it. But And you can read your emotions. And literally it knows you better than you will know yourself. It's yeah, so true. It's very good. So, um, and then we just made, we took some of the oils and we made up a fun little uh, roller bottle with all the oils and we're just been playing around with oils. So I thought it'd be really fun to get her on camera here and, and share away. So Abby, so first, can you just share a little bit about yourself and your family and, um, and then kind of your oil journey? Sure. So like Bonnie said, my name is Abby Miller and I did marry Scott's uncle about 12 years ago, 15 years ago, and I am an educator as well as not only in the classroom, but as a principal in my line of field. So um, recently been using oils for about three to five years and started to notice that um, ran into Bonnie at that wedding and started to talk and it made me go home and take a look at the the oils that were actually in my cabinet. And I was a big mint user and I had a whole collection and I pulled them all out and um, what my students would call my granny glasses. And I put those <laughs> granny glasses on and started to look because I could not read the fine print on the, on the bottles. And that's when I found out that, oh my gosh, I'm not sure what they're putting in their essential oils, mm -hmm. but they definitely were not um, as, as pure as what I would hope for. Mm -hmm. um, so I looked at those and thought, wow, you know, I've got peppermint oil that I've been dropping into my tea, thinking that I was doing the right thing and getting what I need, and realized it said um, not for external use, not for topical use, not for internal use. And I thought, holy cow, what do you use it for? Right. What is and it? what did you do? What did you do to these poor little mint leaves right. that I grow like in the backyard even? Right. That that makes it not safe for me to consume. So. That's when I jumped over to Bonnie's um, direction and looked at some uh, online videos and different things and decided that, you know what, I needed to do more research. And so I looked at different companies and doTERRA was, was the one that I was very impressed with and jumped on board. Awesome. And that iToby is... <laughs> Is totally amazing and, and spot on. I'm not sure how I'll be able to live without one of those because yes. um, I now understand why I crave mint. Yes, she for, needs for mint. all all parts of my life. Let so, me get that promotion book to too to show people. It was it was amazing to hold it in my hand and then have it come up and state, "I 
need eucalyptus and I need peppermint and I need wintergreen and I need spearmint and yes you need the mints in your life as we were, the mints we were for, talking about yes and then I just made her up a little oh, that roller, oh here it is a little uh, cute roller bottle so then she can start rubbing that in the bottom of her feet today right yes. now <laughs> um, and then we use bad lighting um, the emotions and essential oils actually there's a newer version of this out because doTERRA came out with newer oil, so this is the older version. So once you figure out what oils that you need, um, it shows up for the emotional part. That's when you look up and you're like, yes. Yes. <laughs> How did you A little know? bit of stress in your life. How did you know? Yes. And so mm -hmm. this has been huge, huge, huge. So if, if you're an advocate and you're watching this, um, if you scan someone, get this book, and they can actually – I've had people take pictures of – what it shows because they can go home and, and read about it. And then for the other oils, you can look up in the Essential Life book. Yes, and, I have that one as this well. This is a non-negotiable. You need this yes. book if you're in oil. So this is not doTERRA. It's um, a third party, but it is the best, the best ever. Um, okay, so now can you share the computer, computer? Okay, so can you share some of your oil, um, like testimonials, some of the things that – kind of shocked you of what oils can do? Yes, well, uh, right before right, right before Christmas, um, I started having some other health issues and not feeling well, in addition to, to holiday stress as, yep. as, as a principal, as the building gets ready for all of the events and things, and, and ended up getting very sick and noticing that my personality was really changing. And so I, that's where I was still using other oils other than doTERRA, but but realized that I probably needed frankincense and peppermint in, in my life and started rubbing those on my feet and noticed a difference in my ability to be able to calm down, especially with lemon oil. Um, mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I did end up needing to have um, a surgery, and but that, that oil made things so much more peaceful and me to be able to get through through everything. From there, I, as I did that switch and, and jumped to doTERRA, mm -hmm. I started, I had the the acceptance of my husband to be able to do this, yeah. but he wasn't gung-ho on, on himself. I'm not sure, you know, it was like, yeah, you can do do that. If it makes you happy, we're, we're good with that. And then he came home one day and he, he did something at work and he had a lot of tension and stress build up in his shoulder as well as in his head. And I'm like, you know what? I just found some research to try to do some stuff in some gel capsules. So I had doTERRA's capsules, added drops of oregano and frankincense. He consumed it and I took off and went to bed. And the next morning I left for work. He left for work. And so I just sent him a text message. I said, so did you get any relief from that? And he's like, oh my gosh, yes. Of course, there was no way I was going to ask him outright, right away of, you know, how, how'd it go kind of thing. So Be that, careful yeah, with yeah, sometimes. <laughs> yeah, it's just a matter of, okay, so yeah. And so he's, he's a big advocate as well. And so now he'll say, you know, this is what's bothering me. I think, you know, something's going on. Do you have an oil for that? Yeah. You know, what, what can you do? Um, I just recently spoke to my, my son about it as well, and he's like, you know what, I know you're going to see Bonnie soon. So could you ask her a couple questions for me? So I brought my list of questions and we, we knocked those out before this video. So um, I'm just very thankful. And as an educator, lifelong learning is something that I'm very um, passionate about. Mm -hmm. And I want to not only be able to take care of my needs, but also be able to help others. So that's that's where I the that's the main reason why I signed on as a, a wellness advocate as well. Mm -hmm. Because I know that sharing with others to be able to get away from all of those drugs that that are out there in the world and make better lifestyle changes. You know, the things that you can do, the drops of oregano added to um or other other drops into your water or your salad dressing just brings that vibrance and and builds what you need inside and helps with with cures as well so. i love that yes and it's actually perfect we have 
a lot. We have other principals and other teachers on our team because they of that exact same thing. You love learning and you love sharing, and now you're just sharing another part, a part of health. Which, if they if people haven't started to change their health right now, they will because that's something that everyone at some point they have to start owning their health and taking responsibility. And so um, there's a need for that, basically. And those side effects, they're, they're so scary with, with all the things of, you know, you can, growing up as a kid, it wasn't possible to have the medicines on television. But now they're right. Now they're, now they're advertised. And then the list of all of the things that are the side effects are, are scary in itself. And you just think, boy, I, I don't want to put any more of those chemicals in my body either. So yep. we're working one step at a time. Um, eliminating chemicals out of our out of our house. I just recently switched to the DoTerra toothpaste. Love it. It's awesome. Um, it is totally <laughs> awesome. On my next order, I have the shampoo. Yeah. So you know, it's not all about uh, for for everyone about jumping full force in and buying every single right. product right from the get go. Yeah. I wasn't able to do that. Right. But I am slowly adding, and as uh, I can see, there. Are several other things I don't currently have eucalyptus, but it is on my next list. We so always get a huge want list of things, and yes. I think that you said it perfectly. That it's just taking those small steps yes. that you can actually incorporate into your life. Without the overwhelm of doing everything at one time, but something that you're going to stick to, like you said, toothpaste one month, shampoo the next month, and the next month it could be the laundry, and then the next month it could be whatever. You know, just right. slowly adding things in as your life will allow and all your budget will allow and make that a habit and then get that habit down and go to the next habit. Right. Right. And you know, that that is so important to be able to share with people as well. I did have my very first oils class this week, which was scary in itself. Um, even as an educator, we do get nervous, especially here on the video. Um, but awesome. with, <laughs> with, with that class, those two, two ladies that were there, are passionate about their children. And so they're worried about the future of their children and getting chemicals out of their lives. Mm -hmm. And the one was like, oh, but this is oh, all so overwhelming. And it's like, just just little steps. Yep. There's one little thing you can do. I'm always a phone call, a text message um, yep. away, being able to help you as well. So it's it's encouraging and inspiring others as well as the educating, which is one of my, my passions. I love that. And then it forces you to help to Try to live out that lifestyle. Exactly. Because others are watching and, and you want to know how the products work. So right. it starts with you. I just, I love that. It keeps me going. And, and for someone who just bought, buys a kit, I tell them like three things to do. And they open up their their kit. They're like, oh my gosh, you know, even the top pen oils, if, if they don't know what to do, I'll say, just do these three things right away and you'll be good. So to take the lemon and add like one drop to the water. Yes. To open up the diffuser and add like five to six drops of On Guard. It'll start purifying at home. They can smell it. And then when they take a bath that night, I'll say add some lavender to your right. bath. Grab some salts. And like they just used three things. But it's simple. Mm -hmm. It's like a little bit of self-care. You're right. going gonna to notice and feel the difference like within the first day. Exactly. Exactly. And I was visiting um, just recently a priest. and. Um, he had an injury that, that he had and he's like, I shared with him. And so then I made a trip to, to drop off because I didn't have uh, samples for him. And of course, what a, what a blessing is he can put, put a blessing on the frankincense oil that he's then going to use and oh, apply as well. I'm like, wow, I wonder about taking his, <laughs> my, my own personal oils to him and say, yeah, could use those to be blessed in addition to the healing powers that they have. Double whammy. Exactly. <laughs> Spiritual as well as the other. Ones, so. Oh, man, I love that. Oh, okay, so what or how has doTERRA impacted your life so far? Oh, my goodness. Well, the most I, I have a doTERRA box waiting. I, I told myself that I had to wait until Friday to be able to open it. So I can't wait to open my. It's like a Christmas thing. <laughs> wait till Christmas, guys. Not anything earlier. <laughs> my second LRP box that actually has arrived. So that I'll do la later today. And I, I hope to catch that on video as well. That was going to be my first video, but I guess now nope, you're going on. <laughs> it's going to be my second video. Yeah. Um, and then the other. 
what was my question again? Oh, how is oh, it impacting? Oh, how is it at home? My goodness. Um, I, I think about doTERRA oils all the time now mm -hmm. and, and what I'm going to add to my list, how I'm going to put this new oil in, what, if I'm having something, stress or a bad feeling, what oil might I need for, for today? So always looking at ways to put that more into action. Um, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, it's just like an ever, uh, an ever building, a building thing. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also looking at how much more I can do of this with my, with my career, mm -hmm. because I know as I get a bit older, retirement is going to come, come about, mm -hmm. but maybe, maybe educating through, through the doTERRA to, to be able to help others is my next calling yeah. as well. We were just talking about that yes. for the video and that's huge. So, okay. Then that kind of goes in line with the next question. So what are your goals with doTERRA? Number one goal is to be able to share with, with other people. Mm -hmm. um, our students that are coming into our building, we're, we're seeing all kinds of flu and um, trouble where they're, they're just, you know, it's not like when I was in school where the teacher is standing at the front of the room and able to just teach throughout the day. So maybe maybe there is a way to be able to help educate those those parents. So I'm looking at at doing some make it take it classes as well as um, educating parents so that they can change their home environment, reducing those chemicals, especially that sugar that is, is so big in into our children's lives yeah. that that gets them in more ways than what we're really willing to to notice and and that people like me. I didn't read the bottle, bottle of my oils that I had at home before I had doTERRA. Those are no longer in my build, in my yeah. house. Um, I have doTERRA only, but parents aren't reading them on the sides of the drinks and the packages that they're feeding their children as well. So just being able to let them know that that affects everything in their life, their mood, their environment that they're putting their children in, as well as their, their physical so being. Huge. Yeah, so huge. And um, on the topic of teachers, because we, we have a lot of teachers that they diffuse in the classrooms. It helps with um, keeping the air healthy so there's less kids being absent or, yes. you know, being sick. But it helps the moods. Like some teachers do peppermint um, during test days because it will help the kids be alert so they can focus. I mean, there's so many different things that they can do. Um, but I love what you said about educating the parents because parents – are looking for this. Yes. They just don't know where to go yes. to find the information. So I love that. So the last question is, if someone is listening here who's never used oils before, what would you recommend to them? I would recommend finding your closest doTERRA advocate, uh, wellness advocate, and getting more information. Uh, make sure that you're, you're looking for the quality product, not the one that is just Every day you can buy at Walmart and even now the gas stations, they have them. And realizing that Same. when you, I know that when you're looking at a price tag, it is true that you get what you pay for. Um, the oil that I had in my house before, frankincense, you could get the bottle for inexpensive, probably under $10. I have no idea how much frankincense oil right. is actually in it or if it was or if it was or, or if it's, you know, something else chemically, you know, because root beer flavoring has like over 39 chemicals in it that actually makes the artificial hmm. root beer. So I'm assuming that the chemists are doing the same thing for oils too, creating that scent instead of actually having the oil. So make sure that you're getting what you believe that you're getting so that you can reap the benefits hmm. from it. So it is important and just share because people are not aware. Yep. They're really not aware of, of the fact that they're not getting what they think they're getting. Right. They want so. to be healthy, but they don't yes. know the difference. Exactly. So I love that. Awesome. That is it. So thank you so much for getting on and sharing. Right. And um, if you guys have any questions for us, please just leave it in the comments and we will, we'll answer. And if you guys are watching this on YouTube, make sure you subscribe so you guys can get the newest video. All right, you guys, Bonnie Dunhue and Abby Miller, thank you guys so much. We will be back later.